Alright people, welcome back. More d and commentary, so we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here. And, uh, we, we see a brilliant fusion. <laughs> there could be a lot of decks, so yep. we'll find out. But, uh, we have Admid Fisherman, uh, nine... It's Ahmed. <laughs> oh, is it Ahmed? Yeah, okay. I think so at least. <laughs> I don't know how it's spelled. <laughs> Ahmed Fisherman at... 991 playing what looks to be probably monarchs i'm assuming and uh gang of necros three so maybe necros actually it might just be necros yeah possibly yeah which that wouldn't be surprising i mean i'm fucking terrible with the deck as we saw from friday's daily duels <laughs> but uh <laughs> you know, maybe i can learn a couple of things if this person is actually playing necros at 1102 so uh what'd you think of that ycs las vegas that i didn't go to Mm, nothing special really happened. Um, most of the same decks, the Cosmo Monarch, and of course the uh, Trico Slayer Performable deck. Mm. Yep. Yeah, like like I thought, it's uh, the Super Quantum deck. Okay, so Super Quantum. Cool. It, cool. Uh, it won an uh, event in ARG. And didn't it top, what, 32? At uh, YCS? Yes, it did. I and mean, it's a fucking boss monster you just drop and then just win. Like, like I swear... You're just trying to spend your whole hand for that. Hey, so it's fucking... It's kind of risky. Hey, if you got it, you win. That's the problem. It's all or nothing. That's like saying that, you know, you shouldn't be doing fucking that sacky-ass uh, magical explosion engine because if you don't get the right hand, you lose. But if you get it, you win! <laughs> I say, it, it, in my opinion, it's all or nothing. Either you you hit them all, or you unban towers. And even if you unban towers, it's not like that's gonna revitalize Klee's. Klee's are still fucking dead. You hit scout, they're done. <laughs> they need they needed that scout. They need two scouts. <laughs> well, I think there's a difference between towers and super quantums and ultimate falcon, because towers is so easily searchable. So at least it's not in the extra. It's at least, it's, but but in that argument, the other two are in the extra deck, always available, which means you don't have to search them. It's not like you had to draw into the Megazord or you had to draw into Ultimate Falcon. But you have to throw into the Ranker Magic to summon Ultimate Falcon. True, but with high and high consistency of fucking uh, uh, Raid Raptors, you can bust it out. That's it. it really depends on how that card's not even out yet, so I can't even really put them in the same boat yet. But we, what we do know as of yet, Cleese with their high searchability, with, with scout to one, what are you searching? <laughs> you have one scout. <laughs> that's it. You need, yeah, you, that's true, you have guess. one <laughs> scout. You hit scout. It's done. Cleese are done. So with the high consistency of, of searching uh, towers, which will always be in your deck, and what, are you going to run more in exchange for it? Like what? You have one scout, so are you going to run more towers? Like how are you going to approach that? While Megazor while the freaking Megazord, it's always in your extra deck. It's always available. Yeah, so, that's so, the it, uh... so as long as you can bust it out first turn and turbo it up like what it seems like this guy is doing, then that's GG. Well still needs the fear spell first. Without it really can't do uh, that combo yet. Okay. So where are we going with this? <laughs> yeah, that's really random. So, yeah, I say that field can be easily broken. Yeah, that field can be easily broken. And I said, I, I don't think that you need to probably kill it, ban the Megazord like you ban towers. I don't even know why you ban towers, to tell you the truth. I think they just want to get clear. Yeah, it wasn't there. really the real problem in no, Clifford's you were, never. Like I said, it... it you, especially with Scout Stout 1 and doing the Wavering Eyes hit that you need to do. No, there's no such thing as Tower, tower Turbos. <laughs> so, there you go. That's done. But I definitely think with the way that the rate this deck has been going, topping 32 and just busting out this unbreakable, beatable boss monster that not even Utopia the Lightning can handle, that something needs to happen to the deck, or even consistency's sake. Well, thankfully, Kaichu is actually slow. <laughs> you know, if you want to go ahead and uh, hit that uh, Emergency Teleport, that would just be a broad hit to everybody, so that that be I'd be totally fine with that. That'd be a hit to Cosmos, that'd be a hit to Monarchs, and that'd be a hit to this deck. Well, you know, I never uh, 
I agree with hitting generic cards like that, which help like so many decks. <laughs> you know, Konami does that shit. That's like saying, yeah, that's like, hey, wh I mean, hello, they hit fucking uh, Rota. Teller Knights are fine, yeah, but they hit Rota. <laughs> so I said, I, I, I didn't predict the emergency teleport, but as the, as the format has gone on and we haven't got our list, I wouldn't be surprised if they hit emergency teleport. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either, but it does, it will get a reprint in the premium gold, so I think they still want to sell that. So we don't even know the list is that. If we if we had a definitive date, maybe we could argue that. But for all we know, it could be the list next list could be in April. It could be in May. Didn't they say in like in the next month or two since the yep, next list? They did say that. So, so. in April, probably. Okay. That's fine. Fucking fake list making Exiton's price go up. Y'all are fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, like seriously. The sad thing is, its price went up after the ninth. <laughs> like they said, it was gonna be on the ninth. It didn't come out on the ninth, so the list is completely invalid. Not that it was valid to begin with, but ah, uh, main deck in them twin twisters. I like that. I like that. If I played Monarch, I would main deck twin twister. Yeah, I guess it can handle that discard cost. Really? Really? Get rid of the brilliant fusion? Not like it was doing anything anymore. He already exceeded with yeah, the freaking... Yeah, you, so. Yeah, he already exceeded with the Sephanite, so what? Like, what are you afraid? He's gonna get fucking Spell Strider and fuck you up with? But he could do that, also do that with Chicken Game, so... <laughs> Spell Strider. Ah, that card review. <laughs> ah, there's Rota. <laughs> yep. So yeah, there's something. Because this is getting a little bit too ridiculous. Like, popping your head up in top 32, making this unbreakable, unbeatable boss monster consistently, that's a problem. <laughs> you know, if you want to take it slow and bust it out eventually, that's fine, but the turboness, the, the consistency, it's too high. <laughs> but then I guess you could argue the same exact thing with Tower Turbo, so. <laughs> so, yeah. Like I said, if you want to keep Scout at 1, sure. Hit Wavering Eyes down to 1, sure. Then there's no such thing as Tower Turbo. There really isn't. There's no fucking way. <laughs> well, it could still be possible somehow, but yeah, probably not. It, it won't be as consistent anymore, it would for just, sure. it, it, it would be so inconsistent that it wouldn't be worth the risk. Because to get it, you would have to open up pretty much all Klee monsters, including Scout. So you'd have to have some way of getting Scout, because Scout would have to search you the the towers for the plus so without scout there you're not busting out tower turbo like you need that scout because even if you open up like so you go first you open up even if you open up what towers and four other clean monsters that's not tower because you need your pendulum scales you don't want to be able to pendulum summon two so you need that plus off of scout but quite honestly the control version of clifford's was, was always better yeah they really were it was just cute like you, at least you can handle towers much easily or easier than you can handle frickin' uh, uh, the, the Megazord. Especially with Utopia yeah. the Lightning. And while, you know, while you can argue, well, you are going to have it, well, the same argument goes for the Megazord, so. So you can, you can unban towers. I think, I think that, I think that was just an escalated hit to move out that, the previous format, the Duelist Alliance format for the current format. I think they were being overly cautious. It's because Europe didn't have an outfit at the time. You had Diamond Crab King. Well, no, we do, but uh, before we didn't. You didn't have Diamond Crab King back then? Yeah, we didn't. It yeah. was a manga promo, you know. I didn't know that. Hmm. Okay, well, yeah, you can you can take it off the list now. No one cares. You can have three, you can, you can literally unlimit it. You can have three fucking towers. No one's going to do that shit. And if the control version of Klee's were so good, then where, the, where are they right now? Oh wait, Scout is still at one. <laughs> yeah, fucking... Unless they get triple skill drain, they ain't doing shit. Triple skill drain, triple vanities, and that's not healthy, so no. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Yeah, and I'm a Klee You want to have I... a flat cape problem with the domain and stuff. Yeah. Well, they can't really do the domain. Well, I... Yeah, I know, I mean, I meant for... We already have a problem with Monarchs. Oh, yeah, yeah, with Monarchs. I was like, please can't do that. Because that's while you control no cards in your deck, and of course, when you chip yeah, in the monsters, because, yeah, you've got to Yeah, because, yeah, Pendulum's got to Yep, so. 
Like I said, I, th- I just think that Monarchs are a much better uh, stun deck than than Klee's. So, oh well. Unless Klee's get triple venues and triple skill drain, then no. <laughs> and that is from a Klee player. But no, Tower Turbo ain't, ain't going to do shit. Like, you, you probably escalated a couple of things to move out the previous format. A lot of that pressure. Lock, man, it's really slow. Really slow. This turn is forever. <laughs> like, Monarch... And, and that's the one thing that I can't stand about this format, is that mirror matches are just agonizing. Like, you have three top decks, and when they face each other, it is just, oh my god. <laughs> okay, Mifra coming out. So this one's like a Book of Moon, right? No, it's not that. Um, it just gives the opponent a token. No, no, no. The Super Someone Bottom said. Bird. That's the Book of Moon one, right? Yeah, Landro is the Book of Moon one. All right, so that's the Book of Moon. That pops a monster. I don't know why Gang went just so in with it, and that's the outcome is field. Like, I guess he was really hoping that the Solemn Strike would be able to lock it down, I'm assuming. I think yeah, probably. Mm. Wait, what was the point of special summoning that when you already had that? Because Idea is going to already summon Ido, so then there's your two tributes. Like, I don't understand with with uh, Mithra either. Well, Mithra lost the uh, trip tributes one twice in a turn, pretty much. Oh, okay. So, he gets two tribute summons? Yeah, if uh, they tribute uh, Mithra for a tribute summon. Okay. I haven't seen much of Mithra yet. Like, ever since the the Super Quantum Engine and Monarchs, I really haven't seen it. Like, even if they don't run blue with Emergency Teleport, Red is still putting in that work, so... Just because he touches yep. himself. Ah, uh, so... There we go, I talked about a couple of that. Uh, what do you think about the Draco Engine? The Draco Pals? What's up with that? Because even with their adjusted hits, they're still the best. Still the best! Yeah... I think a trade coin in itself is a problem. Mm-hmm. It's so fast, so powerful, just so... Cause that, now they're just playing cards to just exploit the Draco engine, even... Uh, what's that spell card? Uh, you send one a normal monster and you get a normal monster? No, what the fuck happened? What the fuck happened? <laughs> just quit. Seriously. For no reason. Like, are you still on? Like, did you get disconnected? Like, hello? What happened? He's still on, so I'm like, hello? Like, if he's gonna get another duel, then I would like to see. Can you go ahead and check and see if Gang is getting another duel? Mm, yeah, I guess. Yeah, because it's like, what the hell? Huh, whatever. We'll pause it and get another duel in. Alright, we followed Gang. Apparently he disconnected. Got another duel, and then immediately disconnected. So, if he disconnects again this duel, then I'm done. So, Gang of Necros. I want to see him actually use his duel. I want to see this play. I want to see the consistency of busting out. And he's going against someone that's not even in his his rating pool. Like, hello? Just HJ at 317. Like, Dan, what is up with this this rating setup? Whatever. Ah. <sighs> But seriously, that Draco... Because, I, I don't know, the Performer Pal engine hasn't been as bad. It's still very yep. powerful, but not as bad. You know, I, I definitely think that the... the I'm not even sure, really. I'm not even sure if the Skull Krovac Joker was, was, was necessary. Like, you could probably go without the Skull Krovac Joker. Just Monkey Board probably needs to be at one. Because then I guess that would just super increase the consistency. Or banned. <laughs> that wouldn't be terrible. Saying, yeah, yeah what That would not be uh, terrible. Semi-finals, lol. <laughs> that would not be terrible. Ban Monkey Board. Then you would have Sorcerer, Skull Crowbat Joker, Key Turtle, and, and Lizard Draw? Yep. Hmm. That's not a terrible idea. That's pretty good. Ban, ban Monkey Board, okay. Yeah, I, 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 could, I could see that. If you ban Monkey Board, I could definitely see uh, Skull Combat Joker going back up to 3. Because it's also an indirect a hit to uh, the the frickin' Magician Engine. And we haven't seen them since. We saw, yes. them, we saw them a little bit before the adjusted list, but ever since after the adjusted list, we haven't seen them. So it's kind of hard when you only have, you know, one... Uh, one Skull Carvat Joker, and then the rest of the decks of the format, so. so. Okay. 
That's that's pretty good. But the Draco Palingen, what do you think on that end? Did you see uh, DP Joe's video? No, I don't think so. Uh, he put up a video saying that uh, that Ignister should be limited to one. Yeah, maybe I guess. Well, probably Draco Face Off limited. Even with Draco Face Off, they still play that one spell card where you send a normal monster and get a normal monster, right? Yeah, but that's that's definitely more balanced than Draco Face Off. Yeah, that's true. That, that is that is also a very powerful card in their hands. You know, send get a normal send another monster, get a normal monster with the normal shenanigans they do. It's pretty powerful, and they got a monster in the grave for Instafusion. Not that I'm saying that Norton shouldn't be banned, so. <laughs> yeah, Norton should go as well. Yeah, Norton should go. Like, <laughs> I, I don't want to hear that. Norton should go. So, yeah, has he normal summoned? I don't think he's normal summoned. I think he might have it if he has a level four. Because there's the ship, then there's the, then there's. I still needs the fear spell up. Yeah, he he searched it, didn't he? Um. Maybe possible. I think he searched it. One is in the graveyard at least. Yeah. So I think he did. I think Blue searched it when he special summoned it. There's green. Like see those two. There's red. And then Phil Spell is the last card in his hand. So there you go. First turn. <laughs> God, I wish I was playing the deck like this. I thought I was being cute with the volcanic shell. Apparently I was playing it wrong the entire time. There it is, yep. Apparently I was playing it. Wrong. Here it comes. <laughs> I'll with, put it right uh, there. Nine materials as well. God damn. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> nine fucking materials. That's game. That's game. There's no. There's not a single fucking thing you can do. Well, the Kaiju, then it's game over for. Yeah, yeah. Right. Ka has Kaiju started going back in from the side deck as of YCS Las Vegas? I guess maybe they just didn't get it because it's still consistency of getting it. It's not like it's a fucking extra deck answer. Like. That's always there, like Utopia Lightning, but he'll just spin that away. So, <laughs> so uh, HJ, good fucking luck. God, that, that thing looks thick as fuck. That doesn't look <laughs> like XC material, that looks like a book. Because <laughs> <laughs> Ignister, while it, his effect, you use. Don't use each effect once per turn. It's not like you can only use the effect of Ignister once per turn. Yeah. If you can bust out multiple Ignisters, then go to town on your punk's ass. And just, Ignister's so powerful. That having multiples is just crazy. Exceeding to that Felgrin, like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I think that, I don't know, I don't know. You you would think that Luster being hit to one would be enough, but no. <laughs> but that, hey, that's the problem when fucking Konami just keeps on making these powerful ass decks. <laughs> yeah, last there should have never been a pendulum tuner. No. <laughs> Especially since it doesn't have to be him. Like, if it had to be him, maybe we could talk, but it just, it doesn't have to be just him. It could be any tuner and a pendulum monster. Yep. Yeah, why are you playing upstart? You don't need to get deeper into your deck. You already win. Like, you should just be attacking and getting damage in. That's not the right time to be playing upstart. Whatever. Like, you pretty much won this duel, I guess, so you go on to games two and three, if that, unless you DC. <laughs> but, God, you know? That's the, that's the problem with these decks as of late. As as of late, there there have been decks that come out where you really can't point a finger at one card and be like, hit that, and you're okay. As of late, it's just been so many. Like, even Necros, it was like, that, that, that. You know? That's the whole deck was a problem. <laughs> exactly. Burning Abyss. That. 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 Perform Ages. That. 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 Uh, 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 even freaking uh, uh, Performer Pals, we still were pointing at a couple of fingers. And while well, we've kind of evened out as of late, you know, there's still a couple of fingers. So wait, you played the chicken game, and I guess what, next turn you're going to pop it? Because clearly... <laughs> He's gonna have unless he plays it. Oh, I I just hate, I can't stand leaving chicken game on the field like that. Yeah, same here. But <laughs> sometimes you kind of have to do it. It really depends on how desperate you are. Like, all right. So I guess next turn you're gonna destroy it. What, he can't play the chicken game. Doesn't say. Yeah, because the mistake effect prevents it. It just says period. Your opponent cannot add cards from the deck yep. to your hand by card effect. 
period. Wow, I thought it was except for drawing, like usual. Nope, nope. Oh, wow. That is, that, wow. Well, I guess if you have fucking great Magnus, then it's fine. <laughs> Can't do it all, though. Wow. No, Draco engine. The, the Draco pals. Just like, well, you know, we hit Luster, but that wasn't it. What about Luster? What about Face Off? What about, you know, there's so many fucking things. Can you wrap this duel up? Like, seriously, wrap this duel up, B. Let's go ahead and take it to game two, where we'll find out if he has a side deck answer or... Oh, so he's going to pay a thousand to destroy chicken game, when it's probably the only thing protecting your booty right now? No. Oh, what? Okay. Uh, well, it's still unaffected, so it's not really Yeah, so try. thank you for paying 1500 so sorry, bro. <laughs> wow. Yep, so thank you for paying 1500 <laughs> Yep, scoop it up. Game two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So once that shit hits the field, especially first turn, that's game. Who the fuck's probably, probably game one most, most of the time. Yeah, it's game. Like, who the fuck is main decking Cosmos for, I mean, fucking Kaiju for that shit? No one. There's there, there's literally no main deck answer for that shit. Just like towers. At least there's extra deck shit. At least you could fucking put in a fucking uh uh. I forgot the name of the card. Uh, Diamond Crab King and handle that. But there is no fucking main deck answers for that. Yeah. There's no second extra deck answers for that shit. They bust that shit out first turn just like he did. That's game. You lose. Or that Moon Mirror Shell definitely helps. I know, that Moon Mirror Shell, though. <laughs> but then the really shit thing is you can summon a monster, equip it with Moon Mirror Shield, go for the attack, and then you just be like, I'd attack decoration, detach, spin that Moon Mirror Shield back, and then you run right uh, in. Magnus has to activate uh, uh, Bones Effect in the main phase. He does? Yep. I did not know that. I thought it was just during either player's turn. I didn't know it was during either player's main phase. I gotta look at him again. Wow. All right. Well, I need to update my computer. Well, well I think. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Some of that breaking a magical warrior with that secret village. Let's go. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> wow. This real spell is still thirteen fucking dollars. Plus. Wow. Yeah, I don't think it has a better print or printed. Holy shit. <laughs> It's like, yeah, I could summon a beast, or I could just fucking play a Spellcaster deck with Secret Village, play my fucking Dark Magician deck. You think Dark Magician, yep. if it ever became uh, competitive, would play Secret Village with Spellcasters? I don't think it's really necessary. Maybe in, maybe in the side deck against Pendulums or something. Okay. But not in the main deck. Because it's not too great against Cosmos. Yeah. It's pretty good against uh, Monarchs and frickin'. Pendulum based decks, though, so. Yep. Not bad. Wait. He rolled a four, right? Wait, he rolled a four, so isn't it blue? Yeah, it should be. If then. No, wait. I'm so lost. Didn't he get. I think summoned. Uh... The green with the uh, red layers effect, the graveyard effect. So who got summoned? The blue one. Okay. No. Because red just summoned blue and blue didn't get its effect. Oh, okay, well... Yeah, I think yeah. he fucked up. I think he summoned green and he was supposed to summon blue. Lol, <laughs> Kago Damn! That's just that deck. Damn, this man's like, nah. <laughs> No, you ain't doing shit. You know how you locked me out that fucking Megazord? Let me do it to you. Fucking caveman Yu-Gi-Oh up in this bitch. No one does anything. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> now he's got to flip up that royal decree, and then you can just go ahead and kill yourself. How does that sound? <laughs> God damn, that's a lot of sets. I'm, I'm assuming those are a lot of bluffs. Really? You're going to blind? You're going to blind. It's not even necessary, man. Those are bluffs like a motherfucker. Told you. Those are bluffs. He doesn't think he's maybe he's main decking like. Wow. Maybe, maybe maybe he's 
main decking like with Solemn Brigade, but besides that, I, I seriously doubt it. There's probably just bluffs back there. Yeah, probably all spells. Mm hmm. But I miss mean, her getting hit. I mean, Nisra's definitely the best out of the three. There's no argument there. Yep. It's probably the best synchro monster in the game right now. I have no idea how Gang is going to get out of this situation. Especially since he, all he has is spells. Pack over that. Pretty much has to go into Xyz monster. Yeah. Like you pretty much like a red or a blue or something. Nah. Doesn't look like it. So I guess maybe he was like, fuck it, break her pop because I'm gonna equip this new mirror shield and I'm always gonna have higher attacks. Like what about direct attacks? Like, whatever. <laughs> and like I say, you'll eventually win this duel anyway. I really can't see him right now getting out of this situation. There's just so many spell cards in that deck. Wow. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny, you up, Scoop. Alright, and then they're going to go ahead and uh, turn it back around. Gang's going to go first, bust out the first turn Megazord, and uh, GG. Fucking I mean, if that twice gets the combo, I... it doesn't to always happen. What's the percentage? I heard it's like 80% success rate, first turn. Yes, I have heard about that as well, but I think it's more like 70 or something. Hmm. Not even Tower Turbos was 100%. I know that for sure. <laughs> Let's see if you can bust it out and then this Caveman Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> I make an unbreakable board and win, then you make an unbreakable board and win, then I break an unbreakable board. <laughs> well, that's how the game is currently, unfortunately. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Alright. Get yourself off. All three of them are good. <laughs> Blue get the search, red get the summon, freaking green get another get another four for an XC summon. They're all good. And this time don't fuck it up. Red. Thank you. I'd probably say red is maybe the worst one, depending on what else is in your hand. I mean, if you got that brilliant fusion and insta fusion, then, you know, go to town, but... Probably green is the worst one, probably. You think so? Yeah. What's red's effect when he hits the field? Uh, you can recycle all one of your and he didn't want to get super that effect? fun cards from the graveyard. And he didn't want to get that effect to get blue back to his hand? I guess not. Maybe he has a plan that I'm not seeing. Hmm. You think any hits for Monarchs? Hmm. Probably Domain needs to be addressed. And maybe Pantheism as well, that draw card. Because there shouldn't be a throw card, which is basically, yeah, plus one immediately. In it the is, same turn. In the same turn, it really is. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't mind you pitching and drawing two. I, I have never had a problem with that. It depends on the, you know, it, it really comes go, it really comes and goes with deck to deck. Like, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably not the only person, but I'm one of the people that thinks the lure can go back up. Yeah, probably. Yeah, who cares? It's not really that great anymore. Seriously, it's really not. If you want to play it in your fucking Phantom, Phantom Knights, more power to you. Who cares? You know? But it's still even out. It's still zero out. So Sacred Sword, Trade In, they're all in the same boat. And Pantheism would be in the same boat too if it just wasn't like, hey, also I get to banish and then search. Like, okay, now, now you're pushing it. <laughs> now you're pushing it. Someone missing, Jimmy? Uh, hey. I tried. Uh, there's, uh, there really isn't any uh, synergy. I, I, I admit, I tried Melodious Udell. 
You guys have never seen it. I tried it and I gave up on it and making it. <laughs> There's just no synergy. Yeah, my lord is already really inconsistent. And if you put, if you put your belly in, in it, then it becomes way even worse. Yeah, it's like what? Like what, what, what? Because the boss monster can work with you battle and has some really bell effect, but there's just no synergy main deck wise. And that fusion is not that easy to summon. You, you, you need a melodious master for that. Mm -hmm. So, nah. Tried it, it was bad. Never even saw the light of day on Vitamin Y. Alright, so. Now what? That's it? Yeah, I didn't get it, it mm -hmm. seems. Doesn't seem as consistent as people have been telling me it is, because that, that was just leave yourself with a really ugly field. Especially when they hit that insta -fuse. Like, if you ban Norden and you hit emergency teleport to, like, one, then I'm fine with the deck. Because then you're not turboing it up at that point. Yep. <laughs> I predict that the list will probably go up this Thursday. This Thursday. Very bold prediction. Very bold. I'm 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 put, I'm gonna put my neck out there. I'm gonna say this Thursday. So pretty much the same day as the gold series is released in Europe. Yeah. And I think the gold series is released on Friday in America. Yep. Yep, you said it's Friday. I mean this Thursday. Thursday. It's always on Thursday from what someone did and actually paid attention to. They always put. They always updated on Thursday. I think he even said the time. I just don't remember. If he's watching this video, he can comment in the section. But I want to say nine o'clock. Nine o'clock a.m. Pacific time. I want to say. Whatever. <laughs> mhm. Mm God, I hate that card. <laughs> No message. Uh, that sucks because that would be awesome to have Bolty Bill and her little sister on the field. Yeah. Yeah. That was the plan, but. The, the deck. The heck. The main deck has. No. Synergy. Wow. Seriously? Jogan? Yeah, seriously, Jogan. This man is just trying to lock it down. Yeah, I can't put it face down at last mm -hmm. with the green axis monster. Yeah, that's not a terrible plan. I probably would have waited for a, a bigger threat though. So well, just... the token can destroy all of the spells on monsters. You can? Yeah, by discarding a random card from the hand. Oh yeah, I forgot he does that. <sighs> I forgot. I totally forgot that Jogan does that. I kind of thought that he was like Fossil Diamond, where he just like you can't special summon, but I forgot. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Jogan. Since that card was in existence, we're going to talk about that card. <laughs> <Close>. <laughs> Fuck that card. People still think that card should come off ban. You can kill yourself, alright? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> alright, so. All he needs to do is just... Wait. He could have it right now, couldn't he? Get your field spell. That would be blue. Pitch. That would be yeah, red. Yeah, it just depends on the back row, but I seriously doubt he's going to allow you to get that off. You can go ahead and try to go into your blue and blind pop, but I'm assuming there's probably some solemn warnings back there, some solemn notices, some good stuff. HJ seems like he's been kind of a butt this duel. <laughs> You've both been kind of butts just trying to lock each other out of a duel playing Yu Gi Oh! Like, fuck interacting with your opponent. Good? At least one of strike can't stop the Mega Sword summon. True. True. But that is definitely possible. <laughs> Shrek needs to not be at three. <laughs> yeah, it needs to be at one immediately. Immediately. With the trick of performance, Dex abusing it as well with Ariadna. Do they really do that? Yeah. Oh, there's Brook Charge. Alright. 
I have not seen that, but I haven't really been paying attention to it. Uh, both in the finals, I used that card. Mm. That's disgusting. So the deck that won had Oranje in it? Yeah, but Oranje and Swarm Strikes. And I think uh, the one that won actually used Swarm Scolding as well. Lol. God damn! <laughs> Solemn won a Solemn Strike and Scalm Scolding. Like, usually it's just Solemn. Every Solemn. So targeting both the blues. Okay. Then I guess try to go into it again. <laughs> yeah, Soul Charge is probably the best card in the Super Quantum deck. <laughs> Soul Charge is still stupid. Yeah, definitely. I don't care what anybody says. That card's not balanced. It's fucking cancer, but it's fucking just Yu-Gi-Oh itself is cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so many things wrong with Yu-Gi-Oh, it's not even funny. Can you only activate the effect of that once per turn? Uh, what effect? Uh, the popping effect? No, just once per turn. But it's not, you can only activate the effect of yep. Grand Pulse once per turn. So, so you're going to try to spot pop another back row, or what? Or are you just going to go ahead and your field spell pitch that last card and go into your Megazord? Like, I wouldn't even activate my effect again. Like, There's really no point. Like, if he didn't want to hit you with the Solemn, uh, the solemn Strike on Summon, there's really no point in abating him again. You're going to bait him again. All right. Why? All you need to do is just bust out that Megazord and you win. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Safe Zone, pop your monster. That was dumb. That was dumb. That was all your fault, game. All you had to do was activate your field spell, pitch, summon, good, field spell, send them all, Megazord. Whatever. Yes, I am. Alright. Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to pause. Okay, man. Okay. God. Freaking family, man. <laughs> I just need to get, like, my own cards. Another one. God. Yeah, now can't summon the Mega Sword anymore because. The um, red Exis monster wasn't properly summoned, I think. And that's why Strike needs to go down to one. Another reason why. It's, it's so powerful. So fucking powerful. They have multiple fucking strikes. Like, you on crack? It's fucking game, I swear to God. <laughs> God. Multiple fucking strikes. I'm not sure if uh, summoning with the field spell counts as an inherent summon. I don't think so. No, it's a trigger summon because it, it, it's a it, or it's mixing summon. It's summoned off of the the yeah, so, so, so aren't you swam strike on summon then? Nope. Um, you, can use, kinda... you can use you can use summon warning on it. Yeah. Summon the monster, but strike no. Doesn't matter. They're all dead anyway, right? Because they use dragon effect. Multiple Jalgins, multiple safe zones, multiple solemn strikes. Like, what the fuck is going on? Didn't he already use the dragon effect? Because he went dragon effect, pay, pitch, pay cost, discard, and then you chain the uh, super quantum grand pulse to pop his set card. So that's gone. Yeah. Wow. He did. I remember him. He discarded Defender, right? Yeah, I think so, but has to discard a random card. So is, it a ran is it a random yes. card? Yes. Oh, it is a random card. It's a random card. Your opponent, so your opponent picks. Yep. probably do like a dice roll because you still have it you have this other card in your hand it definitely seems like you chose which card yeah seems like it at least oh white magical health rolls wow <laughs> let's go white, white magical hat people 
I think it was released in like Metal Raiders or something. See, you could have not Metal got that white magical hat instead had Defender. Not that, I mean, it's all good, but... So pick that card out of your hand. And white magical hat pen at work. What's next? Summon your fucking Yadagarasu? <laughs> I mean, it's not like you can summon any shit anyway. Like, holy sh... HJ, man. HJ locking it down. Damn, HJ. Back at it again with the fucking lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <that's... laughs> Alright, so there we go. Wow. Um, so go ahead and call it. This is a pretty long one, but I think the last one was short. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thank you, Omega, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join us always. Uh, Omega's link is in the description. Check out their channel. Great content. Uh, and you're back from being lazy, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> <I love> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.